Adult learners, we don't like to learn things that we don't really see any value in. Everybody goes through this at their jobs where they get dragged into some sort of training course and they don't understand it and they don't know why and they pretty much sleep through it. What's really important is that we embed the realism into the environment, into the training system itself, so that people understand why they're there. They understand that there's value, that there's application of what they're learning. We're able to duplicate a very highly immersive training environment for the trainee so that they can blend all the knowledge that they've gained by memorizing the task at hand and being able to replicate those inside of a synthetic environment. It's an outstanding way to be able to take both the important memory requirements that are necessary as for adults to learn and to couple those with the ability to experience the learning. Studies have shown for years that experiential learning actually for adults produces a higher outcome of retention. Game-based training is the application of gaming technologies to the problem of learning systems. You're going to have sort of an augmented reality where there'll be little pop-up buttons and video and color and sound that will come through the gaming environment and it'll be matched to cognitive science to say, okay, this is going to help you remember this thing. When you're training inside of a synthetic environment, it's important that you're able to have the same types of feedback that you would when you're training one-on-one -on -one with a mentor. Our courseware creates a synthetic, artificial intelligent mentor avatar that looks real and he acts independent of your thoughts, helping guide you through a particular task. In a few moments, I'll be taking you down to the jet drive room. There, I will explain to you the tasks that need to be done on location. Then you will practice performing those tasks under guidance. We use cutting edge technology to make sure that the avatar's features and eye contact is highly engaged with the individual. All right, go. We approach training in an innovative way. Our approach ensures that by the end of the training, you will be able to immediately recognize your watch stations, reflexively perform required tasks, and demonstrate problem-solving skills critical during normal and abnormal operations. OK, let's do another take on that one. We're beginning to see haptic devices tied into the game. The feedback then from what you're doing goes directly back into the game. That's huge because now we're engaging all the senses, and that's crucial because that's what builds the muscle memory. The nice thing about doing this virtually is that it can be standardized. Game-based environments are tremendously cost-effective, and they allow people to repeat and repeat and repeat until they get it right. And that's really important, especially in environments where a second of hesitation really makes the difference between life and death. There's tremendous opportunity to use narrative and story and fidelity and immersive environments just to motivate people, to motivate people to want to learn. Now we're creating an environment where it's all real and they can test themselves and make sure that their skills are good enough so that when they get out there, they're really ready.